G'day guys, how are you? I'm Isky, welcome to my YouTube video. It's a very late in the afternoon. I've just made a video about something that I found that just came out of this van. I got it this morning, you'll see it soon. It's a, an OLED TV. And uh, that video, <laughs> I had to make that before I started this video. You'll understand when you see it, <laughs> you'll understand. But check this out, look what I've got here. It is another couch. It is a three seater and it is amazing. It's in beautiful condition, amazing condition. Now, the thing is, you might have, you might remember seeing a video that I made just recently where I found, I went to the dump and I found myself a home theater lounge. It had been rained on, it was in amazing condition and I had to have it. And uh, yeah, so the deal is, what I did in that video is I brought that couch home. I went to Bunnings, I hired one of those Brightex carpet upholstery vacuum cleaners, the wet vacs, and I went to town on it. And man, did it turn out amazing. It looked brand spanking new. And at the end of that video, basically what I said was, I'm keeping that lounge for my home cinema. Not just that, but my existing red leather seats that I also found at the dump, by the way. Amazing recliner seats. Um, genuine leather. Um, I got them from the dump. I basically decide I'm going to keep those as well. And what I'm just going to do is this fabric one that I, in the last video that I made, it's fabric. I'm going to treat that as my gold class seating because it's nice and fabricy. I love the feel. And yeah, and the red leather ones, they're just going to be what I normally use. Now, I also said at the end of that video, how cool would it be if I could find another lounge? Basically, I wanted the same thing, but with the chase. Now, the chase is that long, long part of the lounge that you can lie down on but I wanted another lounge with the chase on the opposite side and uh, but anyway I went to the dump yesterday I didn't find what I was after but look what was sitting there this here folks is the three seater version of that lounge it is the same family I mean if we I'm going to show you soon but all the top stitching is exactly the same it's in the exact same position as that top stitching it's the same fabric the same color it's <laughs> it's awesome and guess what a three-seater lounge is exactly what I wanted in the beginning that's exactly what I wanted so this has kind of changed things a little bit now I'm still going to keep that other one I'm going to use it still but I am going to love this thing here this is the three-seater and it is in incredible condition have a look at this it's it doesn't look tired it doesn't look like it's been flogged it's in beautiful condition. There's some dirty marks down here, just slightly dirty, but um, they will definitely come out with the wet vac. That's what we might do. I'm not sure if we'll do it in this video. We might, uh, we'll see what happens. But for now, you can see here, these. there's two backs just sitting there. I've got one down in the cinema already. So what I need to do before the sun goes down completely is get this into my cinema. I've got no room in there. That's the problem, I've got no room. So I'm just gonna squeeze it in and work it out later. Um, so that's a deal. I have to go and get one of my neighbours to give me a hand with this. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you probably in the next scene. So catch you then. All right, here we go. It's night time, very late at night. And we have a new piece of furniture in my cinema um, that is still being constructed. But uh, there you go. I've got one back piece on there. If I stand back, check this out. Look how much floor space I've got left. That's a, the biggest bit of floor space in my entire house. There you go, we've got our red seats at the back. We've got our new gold class um, lounge just here. And uh, by the way, this is the back pieces here to this sofa. It's a different color, look at that. It's, it's, it's a light gray, whereas my gold class lounge that I scored just the other day looks darker. Um, at first I thought it was just a different dye light in the fabric, but it was the same fabric. But no, I actually think it's a different fabric altogether, to be honest with you. Which sucks, but um, I was thinking, yeah, I could kind of look past that, because my cinema is going to be dark most of the time anyway. Even when the lights are on fully, it's never going to be as lit up as it is at the moment. It's always going to have mood lights just around the, the soffit area here hitting the wall so you wouldn't notice it to be honest with you but 
what I've decided, um, let me just set you here because I'm going to start putting this safer together. What I've decided is I'm not keeping this now. I've decided I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, if I can pick it up. Yeah, I, I've just, I think um, it's, it just feels a little bit cheap compared to the one that I've already got, my Gold Class Lounge, the darker one. It just feels, it looks amazing. It just feels a little bit springy compared to that one. It's not the right color, but that's about it, you know. Um, listen, I'm gonna hire a wet vac tomorrow and clean it. It's gonna come up looking incredible, I know. But um, it just feels, it, it feels a little bit softer compared to that one, which isn't a big deal. But um, I've decided to hold on to it for a while and um, basically use it um, as just so I can mess around and get some ideas because if I can find another one that is the exact same colour and a little bit more firm, I will definitely grab it, you know. Okay, second to go in. There you go, first, the second one in. it's supposed to be like I guess it's supposed to be like that is is that how they are maybe I'll have to lift this up and have a look underneath I guess it is how it's supposed to be all right let's put the middle back piece in yeah so I've decided not to keep it although it's looking really good now that I put these backs on wow this is actually coming together nicely There we go, I think. Wow, look at that. Now let's have a look at it. Wow. Wow, it looks amazing actually. It looks so nice. I can't wait to clean it. Tomorrow I'm definitely going to Bunnings, hiring this thing. I reckon this will come up looking a million bucks. And to be honest, I reckon I'll probably change my mind and want to hold on to it. Let me just sit on it. I mean, that feels pretty good. It does feel, it feels a lot softer, but I like the way it feels. To be honest, I think my gold class seating, uh, this other fabric lounge that I got and made a video of, I found it at the dump. It, that is really firm. You can, it feels, quite expensive compared to this but um, at the same time I don't particularly like sitting on the single seats I love the chase the chase is amazing I've been using that all the time but um, this one here actually if the other seats if those felt more like this I'd be probably more happy to be honest with you it's a it's a funny thing what's it gonna be like to, I don't really want to lie down on this I've just had a shower but I'm gonna do it anyway Oh, can I lie down on this and watch a movie? Bloody oath I can. That feels amazing. Yes. That would be awesome. On my back row. On the back row in the centre. And then having the chasers on the floor level. One here. Another one on that side. On the floor. Because... Oh, so that you, you can lie down facing this way I think and then occasionally you can put those two chases together and have a home theater bed and I've seen a few of those they're mega expensive they're so expensive I never thought of this but basically they're just chases right pushed up against each other so can you imagine having two of those that you can push up together occasionally you'd have my ex-girlfriend said that's what you should do you should have like a bed um, so you can lie down and watch this and uh, it's gonna happen. But um, they're loving it. It feels really good, like I can't wait. I mean, now that I sit on it here, I can see it is a little bit dirty on the arms and certain parts. It's really, it's kind of deceiving as well. I mean, it's one of these fabrics where 
you know, it's got a pile on it. It's like velvet. You push it one way, it's darker. You bring it the other way, it's lighter. Well, if it's pushed the wrong way, it kind of looks like it's dirty, if you know what I'm saying. So it's, it's just annoying. So I really want to clean this so that I know no matter how it looks when I've, you know, touched it, it's always going to be clean. So tomorrow, that's the plan. I'm going to be cleaning this tomorrow. But um, yeah, other than that, it's in really good condition. What I'm thinking, if I was to... Well, I've done it again. <laughs> I've done it again. It's five months later. It's been five months since that last scene where I was kind of putting this three-seater together. Uh, I never did go to Bunnings and hire that wet vac the day after and clean it. Instead, I just put this white sheet over the top of it and it's just sat here all this time and it's just been in the way. I've decided I don't even feel like selling it. I decided I'm just gonna take it back to the tip um, until two days ago. <laughs> Guess what happened two days ago? Remember how I was saying that I would, oh, this is my favorite seat, the Chase, and how cool it would be to get a second one but with the arm on the opposite side and push them up against each other and make one big home theater bed that you could kind of use time to time. Look what I found two days ago. Look up in this corner check that out <laughs> it's like brand spanking new in fact it's like they pulled it out of the box and went no nah, we don't want this piece let's take it to the dump it doesn't have any marks it doesn't have any wear or tear or bagging or you know any it's beautiful um, and I found it and that's the only piece that I found weirdly enough I don't know what they did with the other pieces it's weird throwing part of a lounge out and keeping the rest of it I mean this lounge that lounge that they bought as well as it's exactly the same as this lounge here these are like three thousand dollars each you know just for each lounge and um yeah it's crazy i don't know but um what i've decided to do i actually just got back from bunnings and i did hire myself just now a couple about a, an hour ago i just hired this wet vac i thought i am thoroughly going to clean that one up there i'm definitely keeping that I want to clean that incredibly thoroughly so I can lie down on it and use it. But I thought at the same time, why the hell not clean this as well? <laughs> I might be cleaning it to take it to the tip, but who knows, we just don't know. But um, that's the plan. Once it's all done, I will actually put that there up on the back row, move those red leather seats and just see what it all looks like together. But um, cool. Anyway, guys, let's get into it and uh, I'll see you soon.
funny thing is, it's actually when it's wet, it goes darker. So it kind of looks more like the color of the couch that I want it to look like. <laughs> but anyway, what do you think? Should we take this um, dirty water, empty it out and see exactly how dirty it is? I reckon we should. In fact, let's go upstairs and do it. Alrighty, here we go. Oh yeah. He's dirty. She is dirty. Hey anyway, mate, let's go and finish it off.
This is awesome. This is so good. Like it turned out better than I had hoped. This seat that I found a couple of days ago is like brand new, seriously. It's, um, yeah, it's like it just came out of the box. I've said it before. It is fantastic. Now, when you saw me wet back in it just before, that was yesterday. So it dried and I had last night to play around with it. And yeah, I kind of pushed it up against each other last night and that was incredible. It's so comfortable. I fell asleep within two seconds. It might not be such a good idea to have a home theatre bed after all. After all. Um, yeah, so it's so cool. I really love it. And the cool part is, I didn't really think about this, but when this is out of here and these two are pushed up together, I'm, I'm so inside the Atmos bubble the speakers are well, I'm well within. And the funny thing is, I'm actually lying down like this, watching a movie, and all my ears are hearing kind of different sounds because they're pointed upwards, the ears, rather than just kind of focused that way. Um, <laughs> that's just a side note. But um, yeah, and then this morning, this morning I had a mate come over and I was looking at it and I'm thinking, well, if we're gonna watch a movie, I don't want him to sit on a bed with me. Uh, so I thought, let's just stick this in between and then we can both, you know, um, lounge out and it worked great. I mean, this is just one configuration. Um, I'm going to have a whole heap of different looks for this cinema where I can kind of, you know, make up little, you know, put seats anywhere and have, have the stairs and steps of my riser on any side. and. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun. It's not just going to look like the same home theatre every single time. And I've got, you know, red leather seats that I can bring in and give it a completely different look whenever I want. But um, this just is, is fantastic. I'm really stoked. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Um, it's really late at night. <laughs> it's very late at night. Uh, but I've still got a little bit of energy in me. I'm thinking what I might do now is pull down some of those red leather seats, they're really heavy, and maybe see if I can myself actually take that um, three seat recliner that I cleaned, which is so clean. Oh man, it looks so good. Um, I'm gonna put it up there and uh, yeah, just kind of see what that's like. But I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this. I'm very happy. Right, finally, I get to see what it's like to sit on a three-seater on my back row. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Oh man, that feels great. <laughs> that feels great. Uh, in fact, let's lie down because that was the whole reason that I wanted to have a three-seater in the back so I could have somewhere to lie down. Oh man, that's comfortable as. This is more comfortable than my home theatre bed that I just made. I mean, that bed in the front row is firm, but
but comfortable. This is just sinking softness, goodness. Man, this is really nice. And the cool thing is, I can actually see the 170 inch scope screen. I can see the bottom of it, just, that's really cool. I can't see the 180 inch ceiling to floor screen, but all I'd have to do is recline this seat here and I'd see it piece of cake. So yeah, where there's a will. So that's awesome. Um, I can see the distances, the gaps that I have to play with, with, you know, um, the recliners on either side. That's if I decided to have a three seater here. Listen, I don't think, I, I don't know. I'm not sure now. <laughs> Maybe I will. Maybe I will. That was the original plan and now I've got it here, it feels good. Uh, what am I gonna do with this one? I was gonna take it back to the dump after this video, but now that I've cleaned it, it looks a million dollars. I, Yeah, so I'm not dumping it. It's not going back into landfill. I saved it, I've saved it once. I'm not gonna take it back looking really handsome <laughs> just to go back into the ground, you know. Stuff that, I'll sell it. I'll sell it or I'll give it away. We'll, it's gonna be saved, so. That's a good thing. But um, I'll hold on to it for a little while because like I said, it's a novelty. Um, who knows, it might grow on me and I might end up getting another one that's the same color at least to these other seats in front. It's just a different color. But yeah, uh, that's it guys. My video is over. My video is over. I wanna say thanks for watching. Uh, please hit the like button. It really helps my channel gets you know gets me in that algorithm the YouTube search and stuff like that really helps and um, subscribe to the channel if you want to kind of subscribe and see how this whole thing comes along and I'll see you on the next one